You know, Rob, a couple of years ago, my second favorite film of the year Uh-oh. was this little movie um, called Black Klansman that I thought was just stupid great. Maybe in the pantheon, I, I, I think Spike Lee is a little hit and miss sometimes. Like when he makes a good movie, oh my God, he makes a great movie, but I don't love all of his movies. He's got some great classics, but I'm telling you, Black Klansman was just another level for me of Spike Lee. I love that film. So I've been very excited and interested about this new film that he's been working on. We've known about for a while called to five bloods and the first trailer dropped and you know, you get to see a whole bunch of, uh, 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 Delroy Lindo. You've got uh, Jean Reno, who I didn't even realize Jean Reno was going to be appearing in this thing. So that was crazy to see Chadwick Boseman, of course, in there. And it's just the idea of guys today dealing with something that happened in their past it is, is a story hook and tool that I'm actually kind of a sucker for. I love that kind of stuff. And when you're talking about the Vietnam War, I mean, it's before some of our times, but it's still something that is very much a part of the American fabric, right? The, the, the scars that the Vietnam War left. And so for a filmmaker to go back and deal with that again, and the whole notion, then you put a little bit of adventure in there, that back in the day, they got this treasure, they buried a treasure, and now decades later, they're coming back to find the treasure. There's a lot in here that I really liked. And, you know, the trailer didn't give a lot away, but I liked what I saw. So I've been really anxious to see what Spike Lee was going to follow up. Um, Black Klansman with. This looks like a god a good follow-up. I'm excited for it. Rob, you had a chance to see this trailer for Defy Bloods. What do you think about it? Look, I thought it looked great. I mean, as I was becoming a, a, a real cineast, a, a film fan, Vietnam movies were like everywhere. Whether I was seeing Jane Fonda and Coming Home. I mean, my mom was taking me to wholly inappropriate movies, like The Deer Hunter. I mean, I was like, how old was I? Like eight? No, I was like 11. I, I mean, I love seeing it. But I've been fascinated. Apocalypse Now is one of my favorite movies. And we see the logo of Apocalypse Now in this trailer. Right. I like like you. I love the idea that and they really worked in this idea that I remember my mom actually went to Vietnam as a tourist recently. And this idea that Vietnam is now a totally transformed country and to see they, they really convey how strange it is for people that were veterans of that war to now go back and see where it's at now and that whole idea always like you said is very fascinating to me somebody dealing with their past uh, you, you have a, a traumatic event in a land that was war-torn you go back now as a tourist and people from around the world like oh vietnam's so beautiful and this that and the other thing and they're going after stolen gold which count me in or i you know gold that they buried i i it looked this movie looks fantastic to me Right up my alley. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Question here is, guys, have you had a chance to see this trailer for Defy Bloods, the new film from Spike Lee? If so, what did you think about it? Jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.